Alright, people finally got that underground haircut, so I no longer have my mullet long hair thing that I was growing, and I'm happy about that because uh, it was all my eyes all the time. I couldn't even really open the windows in the car. So, anyway, headed down to North Carolina for the weekend or for a few days. Uh, I'm still like six hours out, so I've got to drive ahead of me. And uh, if it's not super, super late when I get there, I'm gonna at least do one or two passes of cruising nearby where I'm staying, and uh, I'll let you guys know what I find. I have finally made it down to North Carolina um, and I'm gonna do a little road cruising it's like 1230 or so um, so I'll give it like an hour or something because I'm gonna be up pretty early to hike and uh, just figure I'll see what's out on the road so I've already seen a couple dead snakes so who knows morning people um, things were not really happening last night there wasn't a whole lot of movement on the road because the moon was really high and I think the storm fronts had already passed through um, and it was late saw a bunch of frogs and some uh, some dead erythrogaster um, which are like red-bellied water snakes here and uh, I'm gonna meet up with Kevin and Scott and we're gonna hike for some pygmies and then just kind of see where the day takes us maybe flip some junk and stuff road cruise should be good I'll let you guys know what we find all right stopped at this uh, abandoned building the first snake of the day is this giant um, reddish colored garter pick him up Ooh. Wow, that's kind of cool. Check that out. This is very different than the garters that I have up my way. Is that reddish coloration? Wild. I'm gonna take a picture and put them down. All right, just made the traffic save with this nice box turtle. I think this one, it's a, it's a young one, a young male. Um, but I think it's gonna turn out to be a pretty nice looking one. It had a really orange and red face, um, and it was fully necked out. I would have. Uh, I would have gotten some footage of that, but there were these cars racing around the corner. I just figured I don't want to see it get smashed. I watched a spotted turtle get smashed this morning and I really felt like it was my fault. So uh, I wasn't going to take any risks this time. All right, I've got some time to kill waiting for uh, Kevin and Scott. So I'm going to flip a little cover at some uh, abandoned house over here and see what I can do. Let you guys know. All right, check this out. Freaking cane break. It's heavily in shed, but my first ever cane break. That's so cool. Oh my god. Alright, look at that. So cool. Cane break rattlesnake. I wish it wasn't in shed. I'm getting freaking eaten alive. I'm gonna put his tin back down. And hopefully he just kind of stays under there. I think he might. Whew, we're gonna keep flipping. Very awesome. Finally met up with uh, Scott and Kevin. Mm -hmm. And uh, right here, hiked up the next snake of the day, which is a beautiful pygmy rattlesnake. That is awesome. For the second snake of the day, two rattlesnakes down. Pretty cool. Wow, look at that.
All right, look at this guy. These guys are so cool. Already a pretty good day. Pygmies are relatively common out here, but um, are more than relatively common. Uh, but it's something that I don't at all get to see up north. And um, to get that, a rattlesnake and a garter snake already, just like two hours or an hour into the day is pretty awesome. So we have a lot more stuff we might see today. So cool. And for size reference, I'll put my hand we'll be careful with you. out here. Because I don't want to get bit by this guy, but he's tiny. All right, let's see what else we find. Okay, here's a pretty, that is a big pygmy. Big a big situ, whoa. Yeah, goes. see, that could have happened. Oh, did he just shoot off? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Later, nerds. <laughs> yeah, wow, we wouldn't have seen that. All right, pygmy number three, also a pretty nice one. They all seem to be pretty nice, but um, we're actually on our way out. We're gonna hit some tin spots and things like that, because, uh, we don't feel like we need to max out on the pygmies. We're just gonna kind of see a couple and go for a variety today. So let's see what we can do. Just to... Oh, that's very interesting. Are they not common? Or... No, I just haven't seen one yet. All right, here's a rough earth snake. It's my lifer. Have not seen one of these before. Might just grab a kind of voucher shot. Pretty cool. All right, we got some degree of permission to come in here. Should you guys get this board? Which like a two by four? Alright, yeah, we got some permission from local landowners to check out this old place and uh, see if we can turn anything up. Alright, next snake is this giant ass copperhead. Uh, I don't know if I can get a good look at it, but uh, there he is. Backing up into a, a cinder block. You can see his face right there. Man, we're gonna leave that guy alone. Come on, turtle. really? What? In the look down. The mud turtle? Yeah, we'll leave him where he is. No. No. One. Did you get this giant ass no, one? I waited. Oh my god. Come on, give us a cane. It's, oh, it's attached to a giant piece of metal. metal. What about that underneath piece? Uh. Oh, another mud turtle. What the hell? I want to go down there and flip it up. Oh my god, come on, give me a cane. Uh, I'm gonna go to that end camera and just gonna pull towards this. Okay. One, two, three. Nada. I don't see anything. I didn't oh this, my this god. Looking piece. Yeah, this is the best looking one. This shit this. looks wild. Up, up, towards like foot. Oh, you're going that way? Oh, okay. What the hell, dude? Get that little... Oh. Here, I'll film him real quick, just to document. He's dipping. Okay. All right. All right, so check this out. Big old cane break. That one's bigger than the one I saw. Guys in shed, but less in shed than the last one. Be cool. From him, he's gonna. We honestly should probably just let him go. Oh, I, yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't want to stick here too long. Nice, dude. Another Cambridge. Y'all ready? We get one. This. That was pretty cool. Uh, Quick stop, saw that uh, Kev spotted that cane break out basking next to piece of tin. We're gonna keep hiking and driving and flipping and looking around, so uh, 
you guys know. So in this perfectly natural bamboo habitat right here, <laughs> we have a long awaited lifer for me. One that is slightly embarrassing, <laughs> but uh, something that I just never have been able to turn up. And that is a rough green snake. Here it is crossing the road. I'm gonna take some pictures as is because that's pretty cool and uh, show you some more video. Right, this guy started to move, so I picked him up. Check that out. Oh, look at that. He's coming up. <laughs> oh my god. Look, he's checking out the camera. There's not even anything nice to put him in. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird that we saw it where there's bamboo. I mean, there's probably brush on the other side, and then there's probably brush on the other side, you know what I mean? He's just cutting yeah, through. Bamboo's just like the worst thing ever. Yeah. It just, well, it chokes the ground of sunlight so hard. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go, and then uh, we're gonna keep cruising. All right, we're gonna do some cruising because uh, conditions are getting a little hot for tin, so we'll see what's out on the roads, and uh, I'll let you know. guys do the work for me but we just cruised a freaking rain king, rain <laughs> king. here can I yeah oh <laughs> what are you doing bud Dude, look Around. at this he's got some like nice white on his belly and some more like this is more beige on the top here yeah that's, that's cool. interesting man so what what's the call Yeah, that's kind of sick. Do you have like an extra um, like piece of clothing cup? Yes, wet? yes I do. Scott Hamill, mud snake man. Found an aberrant mud snake and now all of a sudden he's, you know, he's the guy. Here he is right here. How do you feel with your uh, picture on the as the cover photo on North American Field Herping I mean, they don't call page. me the Ferencia King for nothing. So, uh, you know, yeah. as the king snake gets away, you yeah. know. But who cares? It's not Ferencia. It's not a Ferencia. <laughs> I'm good with my shots. I would like to try to move him a little bit. I would, if anything, I would like to get those ferns. That are poking yeah, through? Yeah, if anything, but I'm afraid that'll ruin the, uh, heavy. Awesome. I have a swimming cottonmouth, a nice pretty one, and this completes the uh, viper slam for this area. What we got all four viper species, got a copperhead, uh, cane brakes, pygmies, and now a cottonmouth. I'm gonna take some pictures of this guy. We've been seeing a couple snakes, but nothing too spectacular. We've got a baby ribbon snake here. We're gonna move them off the road and keep cruising while stuff's moving. All right. Nice corn. Hell yeah. Just turning around. Yeah, I saw that just up ahead. Oh, dude. Oh, he's ready to rock, dude. Oh, they're always ready to rock. Pretty one. <laughs> Alright, we good? Alright, keep cruising. Move this guy across and let's go. I'm so used to try. Alright, well, uh, so this is pretty much the end of the night here. Um, cruised a little bit with uh, Scott and Kevin. We found some stuff as you saw. There's a little tire fiasco, and uh, eventually, because of that, they had to go home. Um, so, depending on that, Kevin might be back out with me tomorrow if he can get his tire patched with a little self-patch thing. Um, but if not, I uh, might be on my own, or sorry, my own. Uh, we'll see. I'm pretty exhausted and sweaty. 
Snakes weren't really moving in numbers tonight, weirdly, even though it's super hot and humid. Like, it's, like, disgustingly hot and humid. But, um, yeah. Uh, we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And, uh, comment, like, subscribe. You know the deal. Help me out here. Thanks for watching.